Hey data fans, Reed here. Today, I want to spend a bit of time in Power Query walking you through a technique that I stumbled across that lets you dynamically rename all of the column header names that are either in camel case, so no spaces in the column names themselves, but every word starts capitalized. We also have a way to actually account also for those columns that might be underscored as well instead of spaced. You'll often find these inside of databases or other systems where spaces are usually frowned upon, but that are actually okay to use in Power BI. But as you might know, it's a bit tedious sometimes to have to go through column by column and rename. Now, this practice that I found was actually from this website that you see in front of here, uh, which is from a blogger named Yanni Zeitsch, if I was pronouncing that name correctly. But this essentially walks through this principle and process that was also inherited from a Chris Webb blog of a splitter function at the table level. I also added some additional requirements in here and some other options. So let's go ahead and look through all of these in Power BI Desktop. So in front of us, I have a table that would look very similar to what you will typically see coming from a relational database like SQL or others. And you can see from the titles up here at the top, we have sales order ID, country order date, and in this one specifically, I have a mixture of practices of how they're named, but we can see that for most of them, there is no spaces and each of them is capitalized. So sales channel code, style name, customer account number, and so on. And what I actually have over here is an applied step specifically that actually automatically transforms and cleans them up. Notice now that we have an automatic spacing added between each of these. So essentially, again, I lifted this code block from that website from Yanni that allows us to actually leverage a function called table.transform column names from that previous step. And then it actually does a text combine. And then within here, there's a splitter. And initially this piece of code, by the way, that was actually achieved by grabbing that from the built-in split column transformations of lowercase to uppercase. So that inner block right here is splitting those. This reference is back to that outer query that's over here. And then here is the thing that actually tells it what to replace the values with whenever it finds those split opportunities. And then all of that is combined right here across all of these columns. Now I did intentionally add some complexity. So this one already had a space in here and I also had one with an underscore. Now the space simply gets ignored because that's already included, but the underscore is still there. So I wanted to add one additional step into here. Before I get to that, I do want to show you how to actually add this in. So essentially, if you were to have a query yourself, you can just use this block of code and copy and paste that. So let's assume we didn't have this and all we had is our source table. What I would recommend to do is go ahead and right click, select insert step after. And then in this part here, you can paste that body of code. And the only thing you need to replace is just to make sure this piece right here is pointing to the previous step in your applied steps list. As long as this piece of code right there is pointing to that previous step, and I am using local data, which is why you see the JSON code, but otherwise all that is doing is pointing to that previous one that will go ahead and execute that query for you. Now coming over to the sales underscore removed, we see that step over into here, but also notice that product ID has that underscore removed from it. So I actually added one more previous step in here where I actually did a list.transformation on all of the column names from the source. And in here, I am replacing for the table itself, any found column header names with a underscore with the space. So that's being replaced first using this block of code here. And then that's inherited downstream by the additional applied step over here. And again, this can be copied and pasted. The only thing you would need to do here, if we had both of these gone, you would right click, insert step after, you'd make sure that this is pointing in both spots here to whatever previous step you needed to grab the data from and then make the appropriate transformations from there. And what I love about this technique is it really automates the process of manually right clicking and renaming all of these columns. Plus this accounts for all future columns that may be added or come into this query from the core system moving forward. So thanks Yanni for this, this was a great find. I wanted to add that little bit about also accounting for underscores as well to add some new content to this, but check out his blog below. Lots of great stuff related to Power Query and other resources for that. But hopefully this is a great pocket formula that you can take with you. 
It will be available in the file to download from my blog's page, but you also can take the code snippet directly from the description in the YouTube video below or from my website as well. But otherwise, don't forget to check out our related content here in the upper right. And as always, add any comments down below, any suggestions for a future video, and I will see you all in my next video.